Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo for the month of February 2020. Um, it is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon and your rising sign. Your messages could be there. If not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So you could be um, presently in this energy, which I, I strongly feel that you are, or it is yet to come. This could be a brand new message, or this could be uh, the continuation of a previous energy that I have already put out. Um, okay. You have some... <clears throat> really powerful cards in your reading, I must say. Um, beginning with the card of time, you uh, may feel as though uh, time is uh, dragging. You could be kind of limping this person is limping they're walking with a cane so you could be hurting um, time it, it could feel like two steps forward and five steps back nothing uh, moves here Now, what you want to walk towards, you see, is the chalice. So the chalice is about a reconciliation or an opportunity. Behind you is the card of Earth. Um, you may be trying to... Um, you may be trying to be practical or logical or try to remain grounded we have the knight of swords over here at the bottom of the deck so this would indicate that you would love to charge forward towards that cup but for some reason you must um, move slowly paying attention to details perhaps So, again, with the Knight of Swords energy, something, this, this person has something to say, and it's, it's something that stings. So, this uh, would have been why you're there, I feel. Either you said something uh, in the heat of the moment, or very sharp or this was done to you. If this was you, you would be wanting to make this right. If this was done to you, you would most likely uh, be seeking understanding and um, wisdom, trying to fi figure out why it happened. Because this is definitely you in this reading. I have you out as the first card and I have you at the bottom of the deck. And you are waiting. So we have the star and the chariot in this first column. Um, so you are waiting on a wish. But it's, it's like you're wanting to get control or regain control of this situation of the Knight of Swords, something that may have been said or done. Uh, this is impulsive actions. This is saying something that might have caused a lot of damage or doing something without thinking that caused a lot of damage. And it's like waiting on the results here. 
or waiting to hear news. Wanting to regain control of that situation. Possibly if this was you, you would be wanting to apologize. Or if this was done to you, you may be waiting on an apology. Because, you know, it's it can go um, vice versa. So we see that you want to regain control of this situation. You want a reconciliation. Um, but there's an obstacle. And you fear... It, you fear whatever this is. Now, it could be that if you said something, you may fear this person would not forgive you for what's been said, most likely, and would not take you back. There's a lot of anxiety here about not being able to remove the obstacle. you're reflecting you could be reflecting on on this news because you're reflecting on news on a thought um what you're thinking about is the empress and the sun and the ten of pentacles this is what you desire this is in fact the wish So there's an obstacle that stands between you and the wish. Um, you, um, I feel that you love this person a lot with that charity there. You have a, a fire uh, within you that burns for this person. And the, you see the emperor here looking at the card of death, trying to figure out how he could transform this. He's stuck here in the past, trying to come up with a, a, a new plan, wanting uh, or seeking somebody's cooperation or their understanding. hoping that the other person wants this too holding on here um, to something that was broken um, possibly by their own hand or an impulsive action but as I said that could be you know vice versa fantasizing about the wish getting the wish you are feeling um, burdened uh, weighed down um, it's like I said it's like things this person is tugging forward here um, barely able to move that cart and it, it makes me think of this person um, limping along with the cane moving towards or trying to get towards the card of temperance the ace of coins and the ace of wands so wanting to um, extend that wand and that coin um, or to hold it again. But, you know, they could be feeling very down, very sullen, very moody, um, because they're feeling stuck. You see, they're eyeing the wand. This is what they would like, like to reach for, but they don't know how to get to it. There's an obstacle here. And they cannot see, you see, because um, they're coming with the Eight of Swords, and that's exactly what was over here, the Eight of Swords, um, keeping themselves trapped in fear. Fear holds them back.
you may not be uh, so sure that the other person will grab the coin. So here you have the magician. Uh, in this deck it is the parfait. And he is wanting to manifest something. And he's looking in his book. Um, what he wants to manifest is this Knight of Cups. So you have the Knight of Cups twice, again, um, moving forward with an offer or having this person come to you. Um, but he's sitting there looking in a book, so um, not really taking action on it. Because the Knight of Swords now is in the reverse. So I feel like things are just not happening. Things are dragging and going slowly. So he could be trying to come up with a plan to manifest this, but it's like it's not happening. He wants the new beginning of the Empress. We, that's another repeating card you have, but he's struggling with it. And here's another repeating card, Page of Cups, twice. Um, struggling with being able to um, move forward with the offer or uh, struggling with the fact that the person has not yet come uh, with an apology. If it was done to you, you got to uh, look at this vice versa. So you have a plan. And here we have this very interesting card of the Five of Swords. Now, this is the Minkyate. Um, this is a card of sudden surprises, the unexpected. Now, here we have a fox in a box, and the fox is very clever. So you could be um, planning something and maybe waiting for the exact right time. But maybe that time is not, uh, it's like it's not coming. It's like it's never the right moment is what I am picking up. So with all these major players sitting in your reading, Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune, and the Hand of Faith. The universe is going to step in here. And I feel it's possible there could be, pff, it could happen in any way. There could just like throw you together. You know, maybe for you the time is never right because you're afraid. And, and maybe the universe is just going to step in and say, voila, here you go, you know chance meeting face to face there is an unexpected change in your favor maybe the person does come around this could happen in many different ways if you're waiting on an apology maybe that happens you have this in your outcome so there is an offer. Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune. Destiny, luck, sudden change, an unexpected development that can occur in your favor. 
both of these cards are in the upright. And should you come face to face with this person, you need to seize the moment and go with the flow because it's happening for a reason. Now here you have the hand of fate saying that forces beyond your control are going to intervene in your current situation. And destiny is going to offer you a new opportunity. Whatever this is, you need to know that the universe has your back here. This meeting, this coming together is meant to happen. Ah, oh, look what I just saw beneath the hand of fate. The key. Locked doors can now be opened. From the bottom of the deck, you have into the unknown. So, often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. So, this might just kind of startle you and throw you off a bit. It's telling you this is one of those times where you're just not going to know how to deal with it. But you are being asked you are being required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into unknown territory. This card is asking you to trust, and when you do, all will be revealed. And for you, this is unknown territory. Because even though you know the person, you do not know how they react, what will their response be, and where this will go. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. I wish you all the best. Many blessings to all of you.